everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Ifiba also known as Chef Phoebs if you are new here welcome so today I'm going to show you how to arrange foodstuffs in your fridge the correct way and then also show you how we arrange food in our fridge in our house like a typical African home what we have in our fridge and how we arrange it to keep the fridge free and um, neat so for the first shelf in our fridge, we keep water and um, fruits. For the for this video, it was pear at the far corner. The second and third shelves are for ready to eat food. So you can see bread and the rest are stews, uh, soups, rice, everything. We keep them in containers. And the fourth shelf is for dried um foods so you can see dried fish in the rubber there's yum at the in the black rubber at the back and the vegetable session so we pack everything vegetable in that part of the fridge then we go to the side of the fridge so for the lower part we have sugar we have um, milk we have uh, jam, we have all those things. Uh, this is where we put them. Then the upper one is where we keep the eggs, the eggs portion. Um, and then the very highest is this mini shelf. That's where we keep the dried uh, things like pepper, bacon powder, etc. etc. Then to the freezer portion of the fridge, we have blended fruits those are in the bottle and then that's for cocoa and then pepper that I had hidden so that nobody would see and um, the second drawer is for prepared stews and soups that we won't take anytime soon and then the third portion is soups for the dogs and then um, fish that we temporarily put there Anytime we get fresh um, fish, we put it there for a day or two for it to really freeze before transferring it to the big deep freezer. It's like a, a process for the fish in my house. Then <laughs> you get frozen first here, then you get transferred to the big place where you stay for months. You can't really see it, but then my fridge is at three degrees Celsius and my freezer is at negative 19 degrees Celsius. So there's an article I want to share with you. It was written by Bezalel. Um, I'll put his website in the description panel below, staywellnow.com. You'll find amazing food contents there like nutrition wise, anything healthy about foods, generally like it's a very 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 i can't stress enough very good uh site where you can learn a lot about food so please you guys should go and visit it it's in the description the link is in the description panel below so in this article bez was talking about um the correct way of arranging food um in the fridge so the main reason uh, why it's necessary to arrange uh, food correctly in the fridge is to avoid uh, cross-contamination. So cross-contamination is when uh, microorganisms from one food is transferred to the other. Different foods have different microorganisms and the number of organisms on it. And the amount of uh, microorganisms on each type of food, like maybe vegetables, fresh meat, cooked meat, is also different or it varies. So then you don't really need to like just Put everything together and put it in the fridge there are ways of arranging it according to his article Bezalel's article says that when you're storing food in your fridge you have to store uh, ready to eat foods on the topmost shelves with raw foods on the lower shelves so then the ready to eat foods should be at the upper the top shelves of the fridge and then the um, raw foods should be in the lower um, shelves of the fridge so then example of uh, ready to eat foods are stews vegetables fruits and then the um, raw ones are like raw chicken uh, minced meat goat meat all those things 
So this is the correct arrangement of uh, food. So then from the highest, I'm, I'm going to start mentioning it from the highest shelf, okay, in the fridge. So then it should start with ready to eat foods at the topmost shelves and then followed by raw fish or seafood, then followed by raw whole meat, then followed by raw ground meat, then followed by raw poultry at the lowest shelves. So the ground meat are the uh, minced meats and all those, yeah, and then the raw ones are the full raw ones and then poultry should be the lowest. So raw poultry have uh, the highest uh, microbial load. That's how come it's suggested that you put at the very lowest portion of the fridge because it supports the growth of microorganisms like easy, like faster than how fruit would uh, support the growth of microorganisms. So let's just say you decide that you did hardcore madam, you want to do the opposite of the arrangement I just showed you by putting poultry uh, at the topmost shelf, then minced meat, then before the ready to eat foods, it would lead to cross contamination of your food because the drippings, which is like the liquid from the chicken at the topmost shelf, would leak down into your already, so like your stew or something, like it would all fall on your stew and your bread and everything in the fridge and so there will be transfer of microorganisms from the raw meat to your ready to eat foods now let's be very mindful foods like bread we don't heat it or anything so it's like you're going to just take the microorganisms inside but for foods like raw poultry like raw chicken you're now going to prepare it like on stove for the heat to kill um, all the microorganisms so then you are doing your own self if you decide to you know turn the whole arrangement and contaminate your ready to eat foods and also the temperature of your fridge so it's very very critical it's very important the temperature at which you keep your fridge or in your uh, the freezer portion of your fridge or freezer because uh, microorganisms tend to go at some specific temperatures okay and then in some temperatures do they become um should i say dormant or they are not able to reproduce or multiply the way they are supposed to yeah so bears also said that we should store foods in well sealed containers even with the arrangements described above to further reduce the chances of cross-contamination so from our fridge that's something that we've been doing like i think ever since i was born or only god knows when we store food in the, the rubber bowls with lids so then in my house is a taboo like a big taboo to store food in like you've cooked in a saucepan and you've put a saucepan in the fridge you are dead like practically dead it's not allowed in my house you always have to transfer it into the rubber containers and seal it properly with the lid and then keep it in the fridge and then as you know the vegetable section two of the fridge um i tied the vegetables in rubbers it prevents it from um spoiling or deteriorating really fast actually foil works better the plain one that's what i use i used to use some time back yeah so then if you wrap the vegetables with foil too it keeps it like fresh like really really fresh and then if you have these rubbers to or ziplock bags any of them too would work and um in my house too we don't keep tin uh should i say can product in the fridge so like um with milk okay so so like with milk instead of um leaving the can or the tin milk in the fridge we pour it in a container where uh, milk is stored so then the moment you open the milk the tin you pour what you want to use and then you pour the rest in the should i call it a milk jar or a milk 
cap i don't know and then also seal it like really properly we don't leave anything like food exposed for me in our house we don't keep fresh um meat in the fridge ever ever unless you have cut it and you are marinating it overnight so we put it in a bowl cover it and then put it in the fridge but like you're going to buy fresh goods and then you put it in the fridge it's never done the moment you buy it you pack it in rubbers you put it in the lower portion the freezer portion of the fridge for it to you know become like really really chilled then you transfer them into the deep freezer and that's what we do in the house so um, yeah yeah so i hope you like the video uh please learn from this video like it's really really critical some of us just pack things in our fridge like anyhow we want i don't know but it makes the fridge even unattractive like i don't know and the fridge also starts to get a stench when like things are being contaminated like you put um fresh meat in the fridge for, and then you put a uh, rice bee by the side it produces some stench and that's one sign of food spoilage okay and then ghana some people oh let's just heat it and eat it it will be fine since no quite an onion you know but let's be very mindful of the way we store food in the fridge and you guys as i said don't forget to visit staywellnow.com it's a very good website um that you can learn a lot of things from thank you for watching this video i hope we learned a lot don't forget to like and subscribe see you next week bye